this is Joe Jenkins. This is a demonstration of how to add humanure toilet material to a humanure compost bin. The first thing you do is pull the existing cover material in all directions away from the center of the pile. This cover material you're looking at here is a bunch of garden weeds, some with root balls and dirt still on it. And um, once the cover material is pulled off, then the compost itself is dug into and pulled in all directions to create a depression or a hole in the center of the compost. This compost is reading 128 degrees Fahrenheit. The ambient air temperature is 58 degrees Fahrenheit. The date is July. 17th, 2008, uh, correction, June 17th, 2008. The contents of the toilet, then the materials are just deposited into the center of the compost bin, basically into the hot center. This is um, near the uh, summer solstice when the uh, bins are, are switched. The receptacles are always rinsed. This is rainwater collected off the slate roof on the compost uh, bins. The water is always added to the compost pile. <coughs> A little bit of soap, dish soap, biodegradable dish soap, a uh, long handled toilet brush scrubs out the receptacle. Doesn't take much water, about a gallon will, a gallon of water will clean two of those five gallon receptacles. In the summer, this rain barrel works beautifully, in the winter, it's freezes so we have to carry water. That's the rain barrel. Notice the bin on the right is empty. That's the bin we're going to start filling. Rinse water it always goes into the compost pile. Compost loves to be damp. Temperature will rise after a rain. Now the original cover material is dragged back over from all four sides this cover material is a little bit coarse a little hard to work with the material can vary from grass clippings leaves these are weeds straw hay uh, or a, a mix of of all of those and more I'm simply pushing the edges back into the centers that basically covers the deposits, but uh, just to do a good job, add fresh cover material. Now that cover material, it doesn't matter how thick it is, it could be five miles high, it's not going to hurt the compost. It's like a blanket or, uh, over the, the compost or uh, uh, like a lid on a pot. It holds the heat in, it insulates the compost, it keeps the flies out and keeps any odor in. So. Uh, with enough cover material, the, the system is odor free. Clean cover material on the top makes the pile look nice, look in neat, looks like it's well cared for. There's no reason a compost pile should be messy and uh, any compost pile should have a clean cover material over the top. Compost thermometer, 20 inch probe, goes back in. And then finally, I keep a piece of wire over the top to keep dogs and chickens off so nothing can dig into it. That's just an old piece of fence. And that's it.